Hi guys and welcome to this week's episode of hack em all Today we're going to hack the photo clip frame from the 2021 spring box. I know you guys are really excited about this clip frame and so are we, but I did find this awesome hack that I'm gonna show you guys today. So if you get excited, then maybe you can do this too. I'm gonna show you all the materials we're gonna need. Obviously we need our frame and we're gonna need some of these uh, faux succulent pieces. I found some smaller ones, you different sizes, different kinds. Um, we're gonna need a ruler, a Phillips screwdriver to remove the clip, some scissors, hot glue, obviously some extra sticks to make sure we have enough, a marker, and this fake moss that comes in a big sheet. I already cut mine for a little bit of DIY magic so we can get through this quickly, but that's it. Um, you can find most of these things at your local craft store. Um, it was super easy to find, especially now during spring season, You're, they're everywhere. So the first thing that we're going to do is in order to fit this terrarium, oh, did I tell you guys we were doing a terrarium? I'm not sure if I did, but I'm telling you now, we are doing a terrarium inside the frame that you can either place down on a table or you can hang on the wall because it has this back uh, sawtooth for you to hang it with. And I've seen these terrariums that people hang on the walls and I really wanted one and I said, this is the perfect thing to do it with. So we grab our screwdriver just to remove this clip so we make sure that the terrarium moss that we're gonna use is nice and flush um, to the back of this piece. This should be super easy to take off. Um, and there it is and maybe keep it around if you ever wanna turn this back into a clip frame or you can even use this for another hack, who knows. So like I said, I already started the project so that we can get through this nice and quick, but what I did is I had this large piece of moss, uh, faux moss, and I measured it. I, my little trick was to use this back frame that it has, because that's the same exact size that's on the inside here. So that's what I did and I used my marker and I was able to get just a light mark on this moss, not a big deal. And then to make a straight line, I used the ruler and I made just a small mark all the way across down and then I used my scissors to cut it. This was super easy to cut through. I mean, not hard at all. So hopefully you guys find, you know, the same little moss that I used. Then comes the fun part. So before I glued anything down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a hot glue to glue this piece down. I planned out my layout for the succulents on this piece of moth that I had already cut out. Um, and like I said, find different kinds of succulents, like these little beads that hang down. I think it's really cute if it hangs over the frame. Um, and different textures and colors, it's gonna look really beautiful. So I already started gluing these on. The best thing that I found is to um, cut, oh, I did miss one of the tools. You need some sort of wire cutter to cut these succulents a little bit shorter. And if you find them just like this, that's actually really good too. I was able to find some that are smaller. Uh, cut it really close. You could leave a little bit of the stem and make a hole through this moss and pass it through. And you might be able to see some of them already here. I'm not sure if you can, but it's very little and then you put some hot glue but if not you can also hot glue it to the surface some of them don't have a stem at all so now that i got this started and also this moss is kind of messy but that's okay because all craft projects are a little bit messy so i'm going to wrap this up here i did already do my layout like i said in advance and so i kept my pieces where they're supposed to go um and you can you know always plan it out just in case and make sure that your final piece is going to be perfect. Also, a little advice that I learned as I was doing this is that if you have these longer stems but you want them to tuck in, remember to always put those pieces first and you wanna hide some of it with these bigger pieces. Um, that would be, I, I think I learned that the hard way, which is probably why I'm explaining it to you guys. So I'm tucking some of it in inside this moth as well and I'm getting my hot glue gun and securing that on here. 
it should hold up really well. None of it is really heavy. Um, and once we hot glue gun the whole piece together inside there, it should just really hold up nicely. You guys, why is hot glue gun so messy? But I love it. Also, I don't love it when it burns my fingers, but I do love how easy it is to work with. So here we are. And this could be really like relaxing, um, plus all these pretty colors and you know different kinds of greenery really relaxes me. I love gardening, and even though I love real um, you know plants, there's nothing wrong with a little fake plant or here and there. I mean, especially inside the house where you don't get any sun, but you still want some of that pretty of the, you know, bringing the outside in. This is the perfect way for like maybe a bathroom with no window, no sun coming in, but you still want nature inside. This is the perfect way. So sometimes what I'm doing here is arranging and confirming that this is really what I want before I actually commit to it. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, these pieces are already glued in. I think I really love that. I'm really liking the way that some of these pieces come off the moss because I know they're going to come off to this frame right here. So that will make it nice and sort of realistic because if you guys grow succulents, which I do, you'll know that they start going wild and they'll just go everywhere. So I'm pretty in love with this and I can already tell that I'm gonna wanna cover this stem right here. So I'm gonna start with these pieces first and use these three to cover that. Okay, so let's just do this without minimal burning of my fingertips. So wish me luck. And also these strands. If you guys have any advice for us, like we've mentioned before that we are not Martha Stewart or the number one crafters, but uh, if you guys have any advice on how to not burn your fingers, please uh, leave it down in the comments. I will be looking for that. And if you guys have any advice ever for anything that we do, if you see that we can do it better, all our other subscribers or deco creators are looking, I just burned my finger, you guys, are looking at the comments and you guys can share any advice that some of you have. I know that some of you are expert DIYers. I can see it in the Deco Created page on Facebook called uh, The Deco Creators, where uh, you guys share all your beautiful homes with us and all the um, stuff that you do with the items that we send you. And then you can check out the Deco Hacks community page on Facebook, where we share this kind of stuff and then you share with us. Okay, I think that that's good. And now I'm going to cover these edges to sort of finish off that way. I think that I had mentioned that we could make a hole so that we can fit this little stem in. Let's see if I have to do that. I think I might be able to just stick it in there, but it could be helpful to put it all the way through and it, you know, really stay on there. So yeah, like I was saying, share your hacks with us in the Deco Hacks Facebook community page, or just share what you guys do with all your fun spring pieces. Um, and if you guys get inspired to do this, please share it with me. I would love to see what you do. All right, so this hack really uh, was not time consuming at all. I did have some hack magic that we're calling it here and I had some stuff ready, but before then it wasn't that long to begin with. So um, I think what took the longest for me was really getting a layout that I loved. And um, this part right here where we're gluing each individual piece and making sure that it's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for just a little bit. I'm sure it'll dry really quick and all these like hot glue gun strings, I'm gonna clean them up right now. And just make sure that this dries and that it's going to stay. So I ended up with an extra piece and that's okay. I'm sure I'll find another project. So I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see and maybe even test that everything is staying on. And so here we have, you guys, it is staying on. So 
this is our little piece of terrarium and now we have to hot glue gun this to the back of our little frame here so I'm not sure if there's a way that it's not too permanent, maybe command strips, I'm not sure if it'll hold. If one of you guys try, let us know, but I'm going to put so much hot glue gun down and make sure that this stays on because it is a little bit heavy. So I wanna make sure that it's not gonna fall off eventually. I'll get home and all these little succulents are on the floor. Okay, I don't know what the right order is, and again, you guys can help us out. But I think what I'm gonna do is put the hot glue gun on the wood and then just like stick this in here. Uh, that might be the easiest way for me to do that. See, I did need an extra little stick right here. So let's, I'm just gonna keep going. Try to do this as quick as possible and make sure it doesn't dry before I can stick this in here. The last thing I want is for me to do all of this and then I put it in and it falls during this video. Okay, probably should consider getting a larger hot glue gun. I think, I think we've reached a professional level. This one's a little bit small. Okay, wish me luck you guys. So. Even though I measured, it's still a little bit over, but I think that that's good. That should be okay. And they are pretty sturdy faux succulents, so if I have to press down on them so that the backing stays, I think that that is gonna be okay too. So I'm, I am pressing down on some of these succulents, making sure that the hot glue gun I place down on the wood makes contact with the back of this moss. I'm really loving this and the whitewash finish on this frame is looking super nice with the screen okay just hold on don't want anything falling when I reveal my final piece but I'm really excited okay checking it before you guys see it you guys how stinking cute is that I'm in love. This is amazing. Made very little mess. Okay, maybe a lot of mess. But only burned one finger. No big deal. Super fast. You can find all this stuff. I'm sure right now during spring season, it's going to be super easy to find this stuff. It doesn't even have to be succulents. You guys could do flowers. I mean, it could be a beautiful little flower arrangement for a centerpiece. So I hope you guys enjoyed this stucco hack and uh, join us for another hack em all soon. Uh, and we'll be hacking some more spring items. And don't forget to share things with us. Thanks for joining us. Bye guys.